Hello again, this is Nerd Darai, and we are back for more Super Mario World. When we last left off, we were at Donut Secret 1. Really, I should say we were at the 25 subscriber special, but no, nah, that was a couple days ago, like two or three, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I already forgot my first special. Let me adjust my mic. Sorry, there we go. And let's go. When we last left off, we had a game over. That's what, it, that's what I meant to say. But now I have two uh, capes, and you'll see why soon. Uh, wow, it's been a while since we've played this, but now that my family hiatus, hiatus or whatever, I'm not sure if it's a hiatus or what it is, I don't know. But now that, that, now that all the uh, problems right now is are gone and at school starting up soon you can expect daily episodes of this and probably other emulated things because right now my dazzle is broken yeah five episodes and it's broken it's a very cruddy dazzle but eh. it did its job for five episodes really I don't, I don't even think it's the dazzle that I'm using I think it's the laptop that I'm using so never mind about the dazzle being broken I'm really trying hard not to get hit here. Not because I don't want to die again. Well, that, but... Also, I'm trying to, uh... Keep the cape, and I fail at that. Go me! I'm not going to do the P-switch yet, because, uh... Well... They just... Uh... They reverse your control, so, like, you'll have to... Uh, pressing S... Brings you upward... And then you slowly float down. But when you got a P switch or anything else in your hands, uh, you'll slowly float up and you've got to press down. At least that's what happens in my emulator. I don't know if that happens in all emulators. Oh, God. Let's hope. Let's try to get to the top of the bar. Okay, yeah, that rip on fish was coming after me and I didn't want to die right now. Yay, so we finally are able to play Super Mario World again. Because that's probably the best I can talk about right now. Uh, I'm going to do the Donut Ghost House right now. And I'm going to get... There are two exits in this one, actually. The second one, I actually had to get friend help from my friends at... Uh, uh, Shadow Mario 41's Trivia HQ. Because uh, I never was able to figure it out. And it's in this... Well, I'm not going to say. It's in this ghost house. This is a ghost house. Can you find the exit? Hee hee hee. Don't get lost. So these are basically like the puzzle areas of the game. So. Expect puzzles. That aren't very hard, but puzzles nonetheless. P-switch. Now if you press it. A door will appear here, but all it does is take you to this room, which has a coin snake that is absolutely pointless. Coin snakes are random which way they go, so... Sometimes they help you, and other levels you have to keep restarting and restarting. I believe there is one level where you have to keep doing that, but I may be wrong. So instead of pressing the P-switch, you've got to carry it. And so now, since you have the P-switch with you somehow, what's in this yellow box? A vine. And death. That works too. Actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work at all. Did something just. Did it just say something on my screen? I don't know. And I'm kind of scared. Not really, but like, it's never done that. But I don't think it said anything on my screen, so never mind. I'll see how it turns out in the end after recording. I do like this music, but it can get very annoying after a while, because it's just the same thing over and over until this part comes in. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you can hear the music, so never mind. Booze. If you're away from them, if you're facing away from them, ha ha ha, booze. But if you're facing away from them, they will come after you. If you're looking straight towards them, they won't move. 
See, easy level. Now we are going to get a cape because the oh I love that island animation. Never I forgot about doing that. I forgot that I did that. But now we are going to get a cape because the secret exit involves a cape. I'm gonna go back to Donut Plains one because there's a cape here and then it's easy to leave the level. Hopefully I'm gonna get both of them. There's one. Oh, I can't get another. Oh well. Level skip. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not gonna cut this out because, like, well, for one thing, I've already been talking. But then, like, it's not very long at all. Aww. Yay. Wee. See, that wasn't too bad. It'll just make the video longer, so the project will be longer, because right now I'm at a loss of games. Sort of. Now the way to the secret exit is so freaking easy, but it's so unbelievably freaking not obvious. <laughs> sort of. I guess to my friends it was, but to me it wasn't. Whoopsies. Oh yeah, you also do that ground slam. But I don't think it does anything to enemies. Oh you jerk. One sec. Okay, from this part out, it's going to be post-commentary because I just can't figure out how my regular commentary fit into this little segment at the end. So, sorry that it had to come to this, but post-commentary it is. And as you just saw, I am using rewinds because I am being cheap and do not feel like going back for more capes each time because, as you'll notice... I get hit by boos a bunch. So apparently you have to go to the from the right to the left instead of from the left to the right like I thought you did. But that little gap up there you had to fly through there. And I'm doing it wrong right now so don't even try to do it right now if you're playing along in the future because nobody watches my videos now. Watches watches my videos now. Well, I'm just being harsh on myself. After yesterday, or two days ago, I think. I don't know, I forgot. But after a couple days ago, I can't say that. Because, again, my 25 subscriber special. And there are boos up here, too. I didn't realize that. Let me check something. Okay, good. I thought the audio wasn't on for a sec. That scared me. There are one-ups in all four of those boxes, I believe. But I'm not going to worry about getting them. Level complete. Course clear. So, sorry that there wasn't any live commentary. But at least now I don't have to worry about where it fits in because I can just find a place to put it in because it doesn't fit. Sort of. I don't know. I mean, like, the audio won't be there to help me, so I'll have to find just some place to fit it in there. That was Z's top secret area. You can get a fire flower. There are two fire flowers, a Yoshi, and two capes. Or two capes, basically. Believe it or not, Yoshi can go into water, so that's what I'm doing here. I was going to take Yoshi to get the key, but all of a sudden... Well, wait a second. That was a funny glitch. Okay, but uh, all of a sudden, yes, a, oh yeah, and I accidentally rewind, 
rewound, rewound there. But one of those little, I, don't, I forgot what their name are, but they start with a G. And there's some G fish. I'm going to call them G fish. But one of those out of everything had to hit me. Those are probably the easiest to avoid. Eh, I Rib Von fish are the hardest to avoid, but Cheep Cheeps and Glurp fish, I believe, are together. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I'm mentioning it, ben mentioning it now. Those blue blocks that you just saw surrounding that uh, dragon coin can be picked up and thrown and kill enemies, but they can only be thrown once, I believe. If you're lucky, you can throw them two times, but you have to be really quick, quick and then they break. The key is inside this, as you saw in the last video. And I dropped it. Don't let secret house. Okay. You can skip those little animations, I believe, that I show it later. But you can just skip them by pressing your uh, select button or start button. I forgot what it was. These stupid boo rings kill me. Spoiler. <laughs> I said something funny there. It was like, uh, Boo Buddies, hi! Then I died. Boo Buddies, die! Or something like that. I don't know. I just found that funny to myself. Or of myself. I forgot what I'm saying now. But, I die again. Oh no, should I come footage? I got all the way there. It was so long. I think I need to come footage. Well, at least now, the bad thing doesn't happen now. Uh, not bad, but like, in my last recording with the regular audio, my mom accidentally walked in and started asking me questions. I was like talking to myself. She's like, why are you talking to yourself? But uh, luckily, now that doesn't have to happen. She's still not kind of used to the whole LP thing. <laughs> like, oh, talking? Talking while playing video games? Heck, I do that anyway. But, uh, <laughs> that's kind of true now. After doing LPs for a while, and a little bit before doing it, after, like, watching... I think Slim Kirby was actually the first person I ever saw an LP to. But, uh, after watching him for a while, <laughs> I just randomly started blurting things out to myself. Now I am just... You have to grab those coins, because when you hit this P switch, those coins will turn into brown blocks if you don't if you don't uh, take them, and they will surround the door they have to get into. That door that's floating in midair is just a trap door. That door at the very end next to the P switch is a trap door too, and they just take you back to the beginning, I believe. And I fail at getting the tape. But this was the last level I was doing, and this episode ciao wait no that's that's 41's line sorry <laughs>